With the discs, can you apply the discs to any part of the body? Can you apply them to the face or, or elbow or the ear or anything like that? Uh... Yeah, it's, it's quite simple. All we have to do is identify which meridians are going through the injured or diseased tissues and then follow that meridian to the end point or the beginning point, uh, which usually is on the fingers or toes. There are some points that uh, start, for example, the stomach once starts right inside the eye and comes down like this and up and down through the stomach and down to the toe. It's hard to um, hard to put an electrode on the face, although sometimes you can, mm. but uh, it's not really necessary. We just have to go to the end points of the fingers and toes. They all end up at the face, or at least uh, many of them will end up in the face and I can treat that particular tissue. It might be a tooth, it might be a headache, could be sinus problems, but um, typically we don't put them on the face. We'll use the, the, the extremities of the body. It's that much easier to maintain them. Well, at Heartwood, you would put uh, needles on the ear for certain addictions, or you'd use the um, laser. Yeah, so that's a microsystem on the ear. One can put. Um, I've been uh, recently using the ink electrodes on points in the ear. I could use, for example, if somebody's got hepatitis or some excruciating pain problem, I would simply, uh, for, for excruciating pain or acute pain problems, I would use the silver ink and simply take a, a tiny bit of silver ink and apply it to the corresponding points on the ear. It could be the stomach, it could be the neck, it could be the back. But uh, even with auricular acupuncture, those points will tend to be more sensitive. They're easy to find because they will be, you know, well, uh, very tender. But um, over the years, one knows as a practitioner, you know where the points are. And so you just add a little silver or a little copper to those points, and bingo, you should have some s stimulation to the corresponding point in your body. Um, how about using the ear for opioid addiction specifically? Well, right it now almost seems like it would. It would almost seems like it would stay on longer on the ears if, if you could keep it in on, well, I guess when you go to bed you might rub off on your pillow, but... Uh, that's a good point. I mean, um, I can treat, uh, just as the, the National Acupuncture Detox Association protocols, putting needles in the ear. And those needles are on there for a half hour to 45 minutes, and it seems to have an effect um, for that day and the next day, and ultimately it helps people uh, deal with that particular pain or with the withdrawal problems. One could use um, silver or copper ink, and it would be, I would suggest it would be equally effective. Um, it could rub off, so all we have to do is we put a sealer on top of the electrodes that I, I would use ink for the ear. So. That's one quick and easy way to do it. Saves a lot of money on needles. Needles tend to be, after a while, it becomes a bit of an expensive process. Ink is cheap. Mm -hmm. Ink is effective. Yeah. Now, um, based on my experience, although the acupuncture for the ear is very effective and it's a great microsystem, sometimes the other microsystems uh, work a little bit more efficiently. And ultimately, I can treat most uh, ailments of the body, uh, not only physical but mental, emotional as well, through the uh, Jingwell points on the fingers and the toes. And they're very handy. Mm -hmm. And again, with the use of the ink, it's not that they're, they're comfortable, they're hardly noticeable and um, highly effective as far as, far as being uh, uh, conductive and sending again uh, a tonification. Uh, method or what we would call a sedation method to that particular tissue or organ system. Yeah. How long typically would somebody um, trying to recover from opioid addiction, how long would they need to be in treatment for something like this? Well, for heroin or the opioids, I mean, it differs. I mean, heroin itself, the detox is several days, five days maybe, maybe a week at the most. People would feel much more comfortable, well, they feel completely comfortable with the electrodes on their, their hands and their feet. One hand, one foot, opposite side. Uh, 
they might feel a little bit more secure and safe if they kept the uh, electrodes on longer. Uh, might be a week and even longer. Um, if we're treating pain issues, for example, an arthritic knee or a toothache or whatever, you just uh, you keep the electrodes as long as you have the pain. And as long as you have those electrodes on, you're actually healing the tissues at the site of injury or disease. And so um, one might need them on for a day, or you could leave them on for a week. Uh, things like, uh, I've been working at a women's residential treatment program, uh, gynecological problems like uh, endometriosis and uh, similar problems. Uh, we could be even leaving them on for several weeks, just even several months. But as long as they're on, they're actually treating and healing those affected tissues. Yeah. Take them off if the pain returns, you put them back on. Take them off if the pain is no longer bothering you. Treatment ends. It's done.